Hey guys, The Simple Student here, welcome to the channel. Today I was going to show you how to make an array of objects. Okay, so it's slightly different to just making an object by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is make a class and we're just going to call it student. Okay. Now, inside this class we're going to have two private variables. We're going to have a string we're going to call it uh, s name, and we're going to have an integer, and we're going to call it s age. Okay. Now we're going to make a constructor method, so it's going to be public student, and we're not going to pass anything into it. Just going to be like that. Okay. So no arguments. We're going to make some set methods, so we're going to say public void set name, and we're going to take a string name as an, imp an argument. And inside this, we're going to say this dot set, sorry, this dot s name is equal to name. Then we're going to make a set method for the age. We're going to say public void set age. And inside the brackets, we're going to say int age. So we're passing an integer in. And we're going to say this dot s age is equal to age. Okay, so that's our two set methods made. Just going to make one more method and it's just going to be a two string method that prints out the values inside the array. So we're going to say public, we're going to return a string, not taking anything as input, and needs a name obviously. I'm going to say two string. And inside this, what's going on here? Oh, well, to do that, we're just going to say string output and return output just to get rid of that error. Okay, and to initialize the variable, we're just going to say string output equals what do we want? We want to print out the name and the age, so we're going to say name um, plus this dot s name and we're also going to say plus backslash n age plus this dot s age okay so that's just going to print that out to us return that string to the main method when we call it okay so that's everything really in this student class that we need we've made a constructor two set methods and a two string method okay so now back to the main so just for an example, I'm going to show you. Remember when we were making integer arrays, we said int, for example, ages equals new int, and then we put the size of it inside these square, so we'd say 5 for the size. It's the exact same with objects, except with objects, we're not actually making an array of objects. We're going to make an array of reference variables to the objects. So to do that, we're going to say the name of the object, student, going to call the array students new and again student and we're going to keep the size as 5 but remember this isn't an array of objects this is an array of reference variables to the objects so we still have to create the objects and how do we do that well we would normally do something like this so we'd say student the index 0 equals new student and um, like that and this should be students. So that would create an object in the index 0. But we're not going to go through all five of them like this. Instead, we'll just make a for loop. So we can say students i there. We can make a for loop and say for, what will we say? For int i equals 0, i less than 5, and increment i, i plus plus, inside that, like so. And that's it really. So that's making the five objects in the array. So 
what do we need to do now? We need to set some names and some ages. So to do that, we're just going to say, we could actually just do it inside this for loop, just to make things a bit easier. So we could say, students, um, I dot set. It's going to be very boring and give them all the same name. So we're just going to say, what's a simple name? Simon. Simple Simon. And students, I dot set age. Sorry. Dot set age. And we're just all going to be 18 because students are age 19. Okay. Fair enough. And now we're going to make another for loop just to print these out using our two string. So we're going to say system dot out dot print line and inside this we're just going to say students i dot two string. So it's going to use our two string methods to print them all out. Okay, so let's just try this out and see what happens. Hopefully it works. Yeah, okay, so it's printing out all of the objects in the array. But remember, this isn't creating an array, this is creating an array of, sorry, this isn't creating an array of objects, this is creating an array of reference variables to these objects that we're creating here. Okay, so now just to show you, I'm just going to change one of the names, I'm just going to say students uh, zero dot set name, and we're just going to call him something a bit more exciting, Podge. Okay, so now when we print this out, we should be able to see, yeah, the first one's name has changed to Podge. Okay, so I'll just run through the whole thing again, just in case you don't understand yet. If you understand, then you can quit out of this video now, but some people mightn't. So, okay, we've created this class student, two private variables, a name and an age, constructor method here, student, and three methods. The first two is just for setting the name and setting the age of the object. And the third one is just to return a string with the values inside the object back to us. Okay, back to the main method. We're creating an array of reference variables to the objects. We're inside a for loop for the five indexes of the array. We're creating five objects. We're setting name, we're setting age. Then we're just going to change the name of one of them, just to show you. And then we're printing it out. Okay. That's everything. If you don't understand anything, please don't be afraid to ask in the comments section. Thanks for watching. This has been The Simple Student. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.